Yo, before we get into the video, y'all go check out my boys at Star Grinders. They now are currently doing badge grinding for next gen. They are the best fascist badge grinding service out there. The Twitter link and Instagram link will be in the description and let's get into the video. So we all know Christmas is coming, all right? And for those that are new, that haven't watched next gen content and are looking for a build, this is probably the only build you'll ever need on next gen. I promise you, you won't waste your money. Now, I'm not saying none of my other builds aren't goaded because they are goaded and they got goaded names to go along with them. They're OP in their own way. But a build that someone can make they don't have a lot of money, so they can only make one. This is the build for you, all right? So before we continue, make sure you like the video. Sub up with notifications if you want to, bro. I'm not going to force you. At the very least, like the video. But let's get into it. We all know the power forwards are OP. This this is basically like my power forward build from 2K20. I play glass at 6'7". Now the whole 2K is filled with my, my power forward build from 2K20, basically, all right? Not saying like I inspired them. I mean, 99% of people on 2K don't know who I am, but they will eventually. You feel me? That's the confidence you gotta have. So go down to six seven, minimum weight, max wingspan. Choose whatever body style you want. Now the finishing. We're gonna max these out. All right. Now right here, 79. I'm gonna put this one up till we hit 15 finishing. That's a lot of finishing. We don't even need that many. I've been going all year with eight. Now for the shooting, we're gonna max these out and we're gonna put this up till we hit 10. Realistically, you don't need no shooting upgrades to shoot as long as you have the attribute rating. But realistically, like if you were to have shooting upgrades, which everybody does, six is probably the, the best. Now we have 10, so we can put a hot shot on, which for those that don't know, bro, it gives you a boost to your takeover when you make your shots. So we got 10, we could put Hall of Fame hot shot. I believe we get Hall of Fame hot shot on this build. Now for the playmaking, we got a ton of playmaking for y'all. All right, here, this will go up to 81, so we get 23 playmaking. That's a lot of playmaking. Now, Mike Wang at the beginning of the year said that this interior defense did not count for shot contest in the paint. So everybody was getting dunked on. The only thing that mattered was the block rating. Now that they fixed it like a, a few weeks ago, this rating does matter. I don't know how much of the rating you do need, but the thing about this rating, it gives you one of the most important badges when going against centers, which is this post move lockdown. If you look at just turn gold right there, that post move lockdown badge is what you need if you're going to play center, especially on the twos. All right. But we're going to take it down to 62. So at 99, you will get access to that badge. Just letting you know. All right. But we do get Hall of Fame clamps off rip. Now here for our steal rating, we're going to put it up just enough to get gold interceptor and gold pickpocket this steel rating is op it's like on all these demigod builds that have 80 plus badges they don't have a steel rating or interior defense this has both those are both crucial ratings to have to get some stops i'm not saying you you need them need them but if you if you want to be all up in the lanes and get consistent consistent stops these are the two ratings that i'm putting on this build for you to not need another build you can play any position you can run point with this build the two the three the four the five it does not matter all right now here max block out so at 94 overall we will get access to the hall of fame intimidator okay max out the defensive rebound and we'll put our offensive to 90 i mean a 70 78 so we have 26 defense that's a lot of defense that's almost max defensive upgrades now 95 defensive because four times out of five you're going for a defensive rebound now if you're going for an offensive rebound i'm guaranteeing you i said this in one of my other videos you're probably getting beat on the fast break already so value that defensive rebound more all right this is enough to get the offensive if you got position but we got a 95 defensive all right now for the stats i mean the physical stats the stats I'm gonna put these up for those that don't know the Gatorade does not give you plus four it's basically like if you do your Gatorade workouts it's basically like buying skill boosts I it don't give you an actual plus four for Gatorade the only plus four you can get towards your physicals is if you go from a 95 overall to a 99 that's your plus four so your physicals so don't bet on plus eight physicals all right and then the rest we're gonna put to a 78 vertical so we have a high enough vertical I feel like it helps with the blocks and it helps with the deep. I mean, to get uh, defensive rebounds, offensive rebounds, of course. I just, I should have just said rebound and I, so we got 15, which is a lot. Uh, we could put the slash attribute 
right here. All right, so we got 15 finishing, which is a lot you could put a heat seeker on. I'm gonna show you all the badges in, the, in a minute. 15, 10, which is a little more than enough shooting. 23 playmaking to help our teammates out. And of course, it just score on offense, period, with an 84 speed of ball. All right, and then 26 def defensive upgrades, badge upgrades, all right, and with crucial categories upgraded as well. Okay, so next, choose whatever you want. If you're gonna be playing three, you can probably choose. I would say see the future is probably the best glass cleaning one. All right. Now, if you want the best lock take, enhanced jump shots is the best. If you want to do finish, I'm assuming you're gonna do finish and you can choose this and limit the range or the other way around. But I'm a defensive person. If you ever choose a lock take, like I just said, enhanced shot, jump shot contest is the best one. All right. Now I'm gonna go with the most common ones because I know all y'all are gonna pick this, especially when you if you're new to the game. All right, so test the build and give y'all the badges. So here, slithery max out, right here, max out. Put this bronze. Um, where's it at? Heat seeker. Every time you dunk the ball, you get a boost to your takeover. Okay, and this game is a lot about dunking and shooting fades. So heat seeker. All right, and I would say put these last two right here on Lob City Finisher. All right, next, the only two badges you need to shoot are right here these two right here now i'd put hot shot on right here too this hot zone hunter is the single most important shooting badge on the game like you don't need deep threes to shoot all over the court you just need deep threes to shoot anything a little further than the on the line on the three-point line all right so you can really rock with just these two but if you want hall of fame hot shot you can do it but i'll say put it right here these are all the shooting you need Right here at least gold unpluckable handles for days hall of fame quick first step hall of fame some dimer i would say at least old gold silver bullet passer we'll get back to those ankle break if you want to snap somebody you can put the gold maybe some bronze bailout tight handles is another good one if you want to stun your defender all right so you can do that we might do something like this mm, maybe silver dimer i mean People can still mess with Dimer. I would say this is like the perfect setup to just score on everybody. All right. So right here, 26 defensive. Again, I forgot to mention that your interior defense gives you access to even having brick wall. All right. So. So if you want to put that on, go ahead and put that on. Ankle braces, at least do silver. If you're playing on ball, I say do gold. Like it. I said again, at 99, you will get access to post move lockdown on gold. Intimidator, definitely max out. You'll probably only have access to gold for now until you hit 96 overall. So max that out when you do get it. Um, interceptor gold, that's important. Clamps, I say definitely put up. If you want to skimp on the skimp, if y'all know what skimp means, you can put it down to gold. Chase down, you can do like bronze. Rim protector definitely max out on all builds you can get it on if you have more than 10 defensive upgrades. Here, Hall of Fame rebound chaser, bro. You got a 95 defensive rebound. All right, and then the rest you can put anywhere else if you want to do pickpocket. Once you get your post move locked down at 99, like I said, you can put that on. Um, box definitely bronze, especially for your in centers. But something like this. Let's see, if you're playing on ball. You can do pick dodge or gold. Off ball pass bronze is a good one to bump defenders from getting lobs all the time. Um, let's do something like this. You can guard guards and play center and set your your guard screens if you really need to. All right. So this will be the only build. If you cannot make more than one build this year because you ain't got the money or you just don't feel like making or grinding out more than one build. This is the most all-around build, and I promise you will not regret it. All right, this is a demi. So, like I said, at the very least, like the video. Sub up if you want to, bro. 30K is our next milestone. But until next time, I'm out. Niggas never tell the truth. Niggas say they keep it real. I don't ever see it. Keep it real with who? Niggas never tell the truth. Niggas say they keep it real, I don't ever see it, keep it real with who? Go, say you keep it real with who? All the shit you talking about, say.